This is not happening. This is not happening right now. This is why you have backup plans. It is one week. One week until I leave to go back to Korea. And a lot of people, like y'all might not even know that I'm in America right now. I don't know. I had to come back for some health reasons that we had to get situated. I got myself vaccinated. Right now, 100% doesn't feel like I'm going. Doesn't feel like I'm going at all. So I don't think it's gonna kick in until I'm on the plane, if I'm being honest, but gotcha. All right, I got the white girl stuff. I have nowhere to put you, so me and all my friends. I look unshowered and <laughs> it's because i am currently it's thursday tomorrow we get our pcr tests done i'm getting two tests done one at walgreens and one at cbs this is why you have backup plans i am actually getting very nervous i make all these videos about like korea how to get there how to travel i know what to do it's just the fact that i am terrified to do it <laughs> I think I personally just have a lot of mixed emotions about going back to South Korea, like very excited, but I'm going completely by myself this time, not with a friend. Very much feeling it. Very much feeling the lonely portion of this, the fact that I'm going solo. Wow, I'm really gonna be traveling completely solo. Me, myself, and I, and the good Lord above. Ah! One thing we're definitely doing this time differently is we are packing way more for quarantine than I am for the trip. I'm packing lots of foods and snacks that I really like. And I bought like the pot that plugs into the wall and like things to do, games and stuff like that. Because quarantine is not difficult or easy. It's in between. And so this time it's the thing that I'm worried about most of all. And so I wanna be packed and ready to go because everybody wants to buy stuff and bring it home anyway. So all of the snacks and stuff that you pack is more free room for you to take more stuff home. Look at all those chickens. I don't know if you're going to be able to fit half of this stuff in. <laughs> Whee! This is not happening. This is not happening right now. Please, please let me take the test. Please let me take the test. Hi, I'm here to take a COVID test. You guys, this is why you have backup plans, all right? How, am I in a movie? Was I being pranked? My friend and I met for coffee and we were like, let's go to Walmart, I need to buy something. We go to Walmart and then it's like, okay, I need to go back to my car because my driver's license and my insurance car and all like my information that I needed to give for the CVS people is in this car. So we're coming back and there is a train that is quite literally stopped on the train tracks. Like no movement, still frozen. Often trains will pass over these like tracks. So that's like really not uncommon. I've never seen one still just chilling, sitting, enjoying the view. I was like, this is not happening right now. Is she going? Is she gonna move? Like my car is on the other side of this train. And if I don't have that information, I can't go get the test done. And we're already like running just a touch, like probably a little bit on the late side. I was like, well, we gotta try to go around it. So we try to go to like the next area, like a way farther down train. She long, she long, she's still in the way. At CVS, they say in like their email, if like you're X amount late, they are allowed to cancel your appointment. And I'm like, I need to get to Korea. <laughs> so I was like, just go straight there. And I'm just going to sit in your car. And I was like, but I don't have the information. How am I going to do this? And then the Lord brilliance. He just like, poof, idea. The sun is out to play now. Golden hour. I thought to myself, I have my computer because I always have my computer. You never know when you have some time to edit, right? I remembered I still have the footage on my computer from when I got my test the first time with CVS. In the raw footage, I had to like say out my driver's license and I had to give my information and I was recording the whole time. So I went back and listened to the audio and I like wrote down all of my information. Y'all, a freaking train. Literally, I felt like I was in a movie. The train's still there. How do we get around? It gets around. Oh no, the train's still there. How are we gonna get to my car? I have an idea. 
idea. That was insane. If I wasn't stressed out enough, let's just add that little pizzazz, a spice, a little paprika. I also think the funniest part of all these COVID tests is the fact that they get progressively worse. So like in America, not too bad. In Korea, pretty horrible <laughs> in comparison. The last one is like the final like boss in the video game. And it's just like, destroy the natural. So <laughs> not looking forward to that, but the rest of these, we got this. <laughs> You know we gotta bring the pot. We gotta bring the pot. This pot changes lives. I'm just gonna start packing. And the first stage is I just kind of like, I'm like way too overly excited. Put a lot of stuff in my suitcase and I weigh it and it's always too much. So yeah, let's just do, let's do the pretty time lapse. Is it gonna be pretty though? <laughs> So I got my results and they don't look bad. Like they don't, they look good. Like it's everything I need is on there. I printed off this separate piece of paper because I just think that paper looks more official, but that piece of paper didn't have like the collected time or the resulted times. And I just went in and said like, can anybody sign this? But what I plan to do is I'm going to give them the unsigned copy and see what anybody says. And if they're like, this doesn't look official enough, I'll be like, oh, I forgot. I didn't give you like the signed copy and then give them the signed copy. I'm doing this to help you guys out, put myself through stressful circumstances to assist y'all. I'm here for you. Like and subscribe. Got a good old Amazon package. Some things that we got, laundry detergent strips. So last time I took little like packets, but the packets aren't well made and I couldn't find them at Walmart anymore. So these dissolve in the sink. I'm just gonna put a few of these in like a plastic baggie. Got some masks. I know that I like this brand. I need some for the flight and then it's nice to just know I have ones that I like. I got these resistance bands. These have like different levels of difficulty. I'm gonna leave quarantine just like, you know, I got more. It's very hard for me to find like a good mechanical pencil. What am I trying to say? It was hard for me to find a good electric toothbrush when I was there last time. So I'm bringing my good one this time. So when I travel, I tend to leave a lot of stuff over there so i finally got another converter so that i don't have to worry about destroying the plugs putting the mask on at 5 30 in the morning <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to take it off until like i don't even know how many hours over 20. i'm gonna guess 27. door just closed. It's official. I took my mask off. There's like snot dripping out of my nose. Well, good thing I can watch myself while I'm showering. <laughs> Wait, this place is nice. They give us some of these guys. They give us a laundry detergent, toothbrush, toothpaste, cabinet thing. Oh, there's the fridge. My water. Oh, I forgot to grab the food. Acquired some goodies. Okay. 
I am very aware of what I look like. Like, very aware of all of the kinks. I can't get over this nose mask. My nose has been killing me. So I went from Atlanta to Dallas and then Dallas to Korea. My nose has been hurting since probably like halfway through the flight to Korea because I got some really good masks and they just, I'm just looking at myself. It's like a, we're not full Rudolph. We're just a half Rudolph. I can't believe we made it. Again, I have to do this again. By the end of 2021, I will have spent an entire month inside one room in South Korea. The things we do for our dreams. <laughs> Things couldn't get any crazier. <laughs>